This is Rob the Sapper Gardener at Essayance Family Garden. And today we're going to bring you guys another very, very hopefully delicious edition of Chow Time. Um, today we're going to be cooking up a dish that we've done a couple of times. We haven't done it uh, in a while, but it's a Brazilian seafood soup. And we got the actual recipe from a uh, Andrew Zimmern, uh, famous Food Network, um, travel channel host, chef, and uh, every time we do it, it's delicious. And there's quite a few different varieties of it. We're going to be putting in a few different things than we did the first time we prepared it. So let me show you guys the ingredients and then we'll get started. So there are some uh, basic ingredients and you can mix and match these as you see fit. Um, the stars of the dish are going to be uh, whatever white fish you decide to use in yours. Uh, we're doing um, halibut today. We're also using shrimp and we're going to put mussels in ours. We're going to do uh, some crab meat and we're going to do a little bit of imitation crab meat just for the different textural changes. But again, you can use what you want in your dish. We're also going to be using some minced garlic. Uh, the recipe actually calls for um, not almond butter. Oh, let me double check. Cashew. Cashew butter, so yep, thank you ma'am. So the recipe called for cashew butter. We could not find cashew butter, so we're going to be using an almond butter. We're going to be using a lot of uh, minced onions, some uh, chili peppers, some cilantro, some tomato paste, some uh, milk or cream, some clam juice, some olive oil, and some lime juice. So let me get everything turned around and we'll get everything started on this recipe. So we're going to get our pan up to temperature to a medium high heat. And we're going to add in a liberal amount of olive oil. And just for a little bonus kick of flavor, we're going to add in just a pinch of sesame oil. And this isn't one of the ingredients that it typically calls for. It's just a little bonus ingredient that we like because it gives it another layer of flavor. And I'm all about layers of flavor. So we're going to let this come up to temperature real quick. And then we're going to add in our next ingredient. So we're going to put our fish in and we soaked our or marinated our fish in lime juice for an hour and we're going to add it in and we're going to brown it on one side only for about one two minutes and then we're going to move on to the next step. Next we're going to add in our onions. garlic and what I'll do instead of putting our recipe down below since we're using a lot of different ingredients from the original recipe I'll link you to Andrew Zimmern's page our cilantro so that you can see the original recipe and then you can kind of tailor it to make it yours just as we're doing here today and our peppers. Next, we're going to add in our tomato paste and mix it in and try to somewhat gently coat our other ingredients. So, I stand corrected. I just double checked my uh, recipe and it calls for three cups of clam juice so we've got about two cups here that we're going to use but again 
you can tailor this recipe to your heart's content. You can add, you can take away until you get the taste that you like. But I think it's pretty hard to go wrong with the, any of the seafood you add into it. So we're gonna bring this back to a boil and then we're going to add in our next ingredient. So I increased our heat back up to high and I will leave it on that until it comes to a boil. And then I'll leave it on boil for a minute or two and then I'll reduce the heat down to simmer and then we'll add in a few more ingredients. This definitely looks good enough to eat right now, but we're gonna add a couple more ingredients and let everything come together. So it's up to a boil now. We're gonna let it boil for a minute, and then we're gonna reduce our temperature down to a high simmer, and then we're going to give it a couple of minutes before we add in additional ingredients. So everything's come to a boil and what we're actually going to do next is add our mussels in. And that's going to hopefully bring it down to a simmer shortly. And again, this is actually a few changes from the last time, the first two times we did it, but it's still same basic steps so that's going to bring the temperature down and I actually should have done this before bringing it to a boil the first time but this is real cooking folks so we will let it do what it do so I'm gonna let this come back up to a boil for about a minute and then I'm gonna reduce the heat down to a simmer then I'll bring you guys back and we'll get to the next step. So depending on how thick or thin you want your soup to be, you can add additional water. I just added another cup of water into ours. Um, and I also added a cup of water to substitute for one of the cups of uh, clam juice. So now it's still a fairly thick soup stew but that's the way we like it and next we're going to add in our coconut milk to the simmering liquid and that's actually going to help make it super creamy Nice. Oh, it looks delicious. So we've got it simmering here on low temperature. And the next thing we're going to do, we've added in our milk, or you can use heavy cream or whatever you want to do for yours. We're taking our almond butter and you want to make a slurry out of that in hot water. So what we do is we add it in and we actually microwave it for a minute just to help it to break down. And we're going to add the almond butter water mixture in and we're going to add our shrimp in. So we've got all our seafood going in and this will just uh, help thicken it up a little bit too and add just another layer of flavor. So we've got that in. It's been simmering for probably about five minutes. We're gonna add our shrimp in. And we're actually doing a jumbo shrimp today. We didn't have any smaller ones, but uh, it's still good. Everybody will get one or two shrimp in their soup and I think everybody will be happy with this. So. Now that the shrimp's in, we're going to uh, 
let it sit for a few minutes. We're going to add in some salt and pepper to taste when we think it's about done. And we'll bring you guys back once we get to the table. All right, and we are back. We've got our uh, Brazilian seafood stew soup. Mm -hmm. I think it's called moaca in Brazilian. And there's probably, if we have any Brazilian friends or anybody who's watching who's more familiar, they could tell you more about it than me. I just know it tastes good. So as we are want to do, we're going to serve it over a little uh, mound of rice. And a uh, little factoid, my wife loves mussels. I'm not a huge fan. So the mussels in there are for her and uh, SK1. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of all the seafood except for the mussels. So we've got our haddock, which I think I may have called it halibut earlier because that's what was on the original recipe. Haddock, shrimp, our imitation crab meat, and our real crab meat. Hopefully I can tell the difference as I'm scooping everything out. And we'll let you guys know how it tastes. And I'm gonna actually get quite a bit of the soup and put on mine, which I'm sure SK1 will do the same because he loves him some soup. And one other thing. Oh, how did that <laughs> muscle get on my plate? That's right, AJ. <laughs> Is that what you said? And one other thing that we're doing, I was in the store getting a few last minute ingredients and we saw this by French's who makes those uh, dried onion things. And they have, uh, instead of onions, this is jalapeno. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on and see how it is and let you guys know how everything tastes. All right, everybody's tasted it, and I think it tastes fabulous. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think, SK-1? Yes, what, sir. What do you want to say, buddy? You just want to what do you think, sweetie? <laughs> oh, I'm Mine's ready for my second half. Yeah. Okay, so it is definitely a hit with our family. And we'll do it much more, especially when it's cold. Mm -hmm. And the jalapenos were a nice tip. I thought about just sprinkling cilantro on it, but I saw that and I said we would give that a try. So we're giving it two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to chow down and eat. If you have some crusty bread or hard bread, that would be perfect with this too, but we're going to eat it as is. So. As always, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener with Mrs. SG, SK1, SK2, and from our family to yours, God bless. May you have a bountiful harvest from your garden. May you have wonderful meals in your kitchen, and may you have a happy and healthy family as we do. Everyone take care. Sapper out.